Let me show you a no-code solution to administrate a database. That way we don't have to go into cPanel or some other type of panel to actually edit or view a database. Plus, it gives us the ability for a white label system to have users log in with certain permissions to edit or view a database. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. So this is the station DB main panel. And one of the cool things about it is that you have a white label system. So that means you can have your own custom domain and have users that you give access, access through that custom domain. So it looks more professional with your own logo and your own domain. Now, adding a database is actually pretty easy when you know how to get around your server panel. So for example, I'll just name this test for video. There we go, let's go ahead and create. And it's gonna ask you for basic details that you obviously know where to grab or just follow a tutorial. First of all, it's going to tell you what IP StationDB is going to use. That way you can white label it in case it's getting blocked by your VPS manager or your cPanel or something like that. After that, name it alias and you can connect any of these type of databases available. So there's the more pop most popular databases available here to connect. You add your host, which, is, which would be the IP address of the website where you have it hosted or the database in this case the database, the username, and the password for that database, the port, and if you wanna use SSL or not. So just like that, you're able to connect a database. Now, let me show you an example of a database I already connected. So let me go ahead and leave this, and it's gonna take me to another section that I have here. Now, in this case, I've connected a WordPress database. Now, I can go ahead and view all the information here. I can use advanced filters for this. I can choose to view certain areas of this. So if I, don't, if I want to view it in a cleaner look, view the columns that I want to view, the amount that I want to preview, export and add a new row to this database. Now, the beauty is not actually viewing and editing this here. It's actually creating the database permissions to give someone access. So you don't have to give someone access to the whole thing. You can give them to a particular part of the database that might be interesting. For example, this, this WordPress site has database connected to, for example, for pricing tables, for um, orders, for terms, users, etc., and we're able to create these via database. Now, if I want to give access to someone, for example, I'll just say, name this test test, create, I'll have a list of all the tables that I have here, and I can give them particular access to specific areas that I want to give access to that user. So just by selecting these, I'm able to go ahead and say, you know what, you can go ahead and read the whole database, no issues with that but you won't be able to create or update any of these depending on the ones that I want to allow you. So for example, if there's something for, I don't know, tax rates, you want to give them access to change that because for any particular reason, your virtual assistant needs access to that part of that database or someone, et cetera. So you can go ahead and save this. And there we go. Now I can assign members to this. So for example, myself, well, I'm admin, so I won't have to, but if I have members that I've added to StationDB, well, I can assign them to it, okay? So now they have particular access to this database and particular access to specific places of this database. So that's the beauty of this. And aside from that, well, you have the white label versions for this. So let me show you that. If you go to white label on the menu, you have your custom domain, which is what I created right here, db.sasmaster.net, and primary color, the logos, etc. Let me take you to it really quickly. So let me go here. And here it is. So it's SAS master, there's my logo, and I'm able to log in here. So I give them this address to connect, so this, this um, link, all right? And then it's telling me that I have connected correctly the DNS for that custom domain, so it's working now. So you have your users and members log in through that link instead of going to StationDB, which makes it look like you have built a professional system where they can access the database to specific sections by giving them permission. So you have the team section here. So for example, for the ad members, I had a new member here. I can give them admin access. I can give them member access. So they log into StationDB or they have to go log in through the white label system with the link that I provide. So you have all those sections available there. Now, like I said, the beauty about this is giving users specific access to certain points of the database so they can manipulate it, add it, or just go ahead and read it in case they need to look at something. So just like that, they're able to go through the database to specific sections and edit, delete, or create, or add, or use the advanced filters that StationDB has. 
But basically, that is StationDB. Like I mentioned before, if you need something that's professional, a no-code system that's an alternative to these right here, but on a lifetime deal, then you have a good deal to grab this. It's $69 to start. And if you need more members, just go ahead and grab license tier two or three. But if you want to grab it, the link will be provided in the description. And that's a wrap.